Gable. I'm a visual artist. I work on mixed media collage. How I create these is I paint imagery ahead of time on paper and canvas with oils, acrylics, and watercolors. This is papers on top and canvases on top. And when I adhere them with this special glue that I have, that's a PVA glue. I cut this little section out and I'll lay it on this birch panel that I have pre-painted until I find an image in my head. So it kind of evolves. I never really know the image until I start working. Like for instance, this piece, I painted this background. This is a birch panel. I painted it in these orange, pinks, and reds, purples. And then I'll lay a piece of paper down and I'll say, ah, yes or no, and keep finding the paper that's just right. The first one is very important. And that will inspire me to go on to the next one, the next one. I never have a sketch or an idea. I let the piece, it's more spontaneous that way. I let the piece lead me into, evolve into what it does just by experimenting with these papers. From there, I can make adjustments and make it happen. Whereas if I painted that all in, I'd have to let it dry and I wouldn't have all these beautiful textures and colors yeah. built in there already. A coat of shellac will go on this after I'm done. Here I am inlaying these pieces. Each piece is inlaid into the other instead of overlapped. It gives it more of an aesthetic finish where generally collage is done overlapped, which I believe is a little more clumsy looking. You see, I squish this out and constantly clean it up. Yeah, I, I worked as a um, illustrator, so I had a few small illustration jobs. And actually, I ended up getting a, a better job for a famous artist, Jeff Koons. He had a painting and sculpture studio. There's 70 artists, uh, 17 of us were, uh, were painters and we worked in the back on his paintings. After the Jeff Koons gig, I got married, had kids, and I had to make a living and you know, support the family, so I became a house painter, construction, murals. I did a lot of murals and faux finishes throughout that as well. Eventually, I started working on a lot of this at night, and how this evolved was I had paintings that I had done through college and through these illustration periods that I didn't sell, but I didn't know what to do with, and I didn't want to throw them out. So I ended up, started cutting those up, these oil canvases, and I was throwing them on the floor, and I said, oh, well, I'm gonna start piecing these together into a collage. So I, I started building my portfolio at night. I was a house painter during the day, and at night I built up enough imagery where I could have a show. I said, how am I gonna do this? It's tough to get into a gallery, and I was in Montauk one year with my wife, and they have an art show there every year with white tents. So that was the original show, and I sold immediately. And, you know, that morning, so now I sign up for shows mostly in the Northeast, but they're all over the country. I'll show in Maryland, Delaware, um, Connecticut a lot, the Hamptons, uh, New York City, Philadelphia, and Jersey. 